Defense spending in Asia is expected to rise by up to 6% this year. By the end of the decade, Asia is expected to have spent almost 500 billion U.S. to beef up their military power. And that is proving to be a boon for the world's biggest arms manufacturer. Channel News Asia's Ivan Chan with this report. A display of some of the most formidable military aircraft, from ground forces to maritime surveillance equipment to the most updated air weaponry all to whet the appetite of the Asian customer. This F-35 is one of the latest fighting machines on display at the Singapore Air Show. It's touted as a fifth generation fighter or a stealthier F-16, if you will, as it's built to be more streamlined. And so far, Japan and Australia have already made their orders. Apart from having the most modern fighters, there appears to be a need to show military might as territorial tensions simmer. Particularly in, uh, in Japan uh, and South Korea, uh, we're seeing significant increases. And I think that's a reflection of, uh, of the threat environment, uh, particularly associated with uh, the perpetual threat from North Korea, uh, and a drive to continue modernization of their armed forces as well. The latest stats show the combined defense budgets of Britain, France and Germany is projected to reach $149 billion in 2015. China alone is forecast to surpass that and spend almost $160 billion on defense. In just the past three years, Asian military spending has grown 11.6 percent. China may be a big part of that, but arms sellers say demand from Southeast Asia is on the rise too. Entity ASEAN has more of an economic impact than, than the European community right now because of the growth. So you also then see that. And so we have um, a great deal of interest in, in Indonesia, as a, as a place that is looking to modernize and again expand things like its whole air surveillance activity. Um, we've had great discussions in Vietnam. Again, sort of keeping pace with the growth in the economy will be the growth in what they're looking at for national security. The money isn't just going on firepower. Experts say defense spending will increasingly be spent on protecting information technology and intelligence surveillance. Yvonne Chan, Channel News Asia, Singapore.